general election and the governor's race and presidential election, we are mandated by law that we have to have permanent polling places, and it's by population. So in the last election, we had, it by, we had to have one at Village of Bolingbrook, we had one, we had one in the city of Naperville, Cleveland Township. We had to find an additional polling place, a permanent polling place in the city of Joliet. So I worked with the Joliet Park District, and we were able to use their facility, and then we just paid for the people to work there like part-time. $13 an hour to so pay So now this is the election that we have to have um, early voting, but in the village of Bolingbroke is the only entity that chose not to do early voting in the March election due to staff, they said. They wanted me to um, fund them. They wanted me to pay their salaries from the time that they walked into the building to the time they left. And I said we couldn't do that because if we start there for one, we have to do it for all of them. Because all my other 25 sites, we don't pay them one cent. So if we do the, if we start paying Bolingbrook, that means that we're going to have to start paying all of our sites. So I wanted to come to the board and get your opinion of what we should be doing because um, it's going to cost the county a lot of money if we start. Um, once the other entities get a hold of this, they're going to want to get paid too. So um, it's a concern of mine, and we um, it, it's not fair to the residents that. They, even with the, with the machines that I have now, with the um, DS200s it's called, if you go to an early voting site, you could take anybody from around the, the whole county, because the machines take those, the whole county. But for instance, the village of Romeoville, they didn't want to take on the village of Bolingbrook. So they're picking and choosing which 
to which residents which residents they want to come to their entity for so, early voting. For early voting. So yeah. I'm here Did to ask. Them. Them. Sure. Yeah. They they said they don't want to. They put they said I, that we don't want having any other only vill, uh, village of only vote residents because you know what all of them have. Maybe you should explain the. The, the actually local sites for early voting. They're not for, for you to be able to vote for, for countywide. You can, the machines can allow that, but we don't push that because we we don't push that because how do I know the manpower that they have well, at these entities? I'm just saying how the program works. Yeah. The program like we do it in Frankfort Township. Mm -hmm. uh, the villages do it in Frankfort Township. And it, um, uh, Frankfort Township also does Green Garden because mm -hmm. they're close and they don't have a large population. And we put that list on the website, and it's also included in their voter information guide that they get one per household that we inform the residents where they could go for early voting. So, um, and we sent out their authorizations already for the November election, and the Village of Bolingbrook came back again and said that they want to get funded from the beginning to the end. And so um, that's why I'm here. Now, I'll say this. One of, one of the reasons we had to keep it more local is even in, I'm going to use my experience in Frankfort Township, prior to the new system, you had to print all the ballot styles, and then you had to hold them. You had to hold them? And I mean, you had, you know, boxes, of boxes ballots. and boxes and boxes of different ballot styles, because you know, there's, you could take like Frankfort Township, you know, there's three school districts, there's three park districts, there's two library districts. That, so you have to be careful ballot styles and you have to be careful yeah, the primary no. what party they want. So no. Question. with ballot on demand it saved so, a lot of that. So, so that's why I'm just saying that's why it probably was initially set up more locally. So the question for Nancy. Um, it's up to Bolingbrook or any municipality whether they're gonna do early voting in that facility, right. correct? Correct. I mean well, that's why they decided not to do it. So they're saying no. if you want us to do early voting, no. we it, should pay you. We should pay them. them they're to saying do it. <laughs> yes. Which nobody else is doing. If they want to do early voting, they're setting up early voting. <coughs> and voters have the ability to go to other facilities. They can come down here to the county and other places to. to well, they get, and I'm pushing, like I said, vote by mail. We're pushing vote by mail. But the law says for this election, in gen the general election, I have to have a permanent polling place so, due to population. So is the law saying that they have to have one? Not, it doesn't Not have to be in Bolingbrook. It could be, oh, I, have 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 I have to have a location in that area in Village of Bolingbrook area. So that means I either stick with Village of Bolingbrook or we go out and find a polling place, a permanent polling place like at the library the park. But that's why I'm here to get your opinion on what route I should go. So this is an unfunded mandate. Yes, it's an unfunded mandate. But I'm saying once we open that door, it's gonna we're gonna have to pay all these entities and that we've never done this before. It's been how many years since we've had early vote voting? Huh, Jim, you could vouch for that. We've been having voting years so and that and, and well we're not a we're not a mandated permanent but so we do most most folks do it on a voluntary basis mm -hmm. they do most everybody to serve, right, to serve. Okay. and uh that's what they would do we got to show so i talked to you page township i mean they still have that senior son i believe they, the city of Wilmington, i mean the city of naperville we have no problems they have we don't have any problems with we, none of the entities. Well, and you the have Wheaton Township oversees bowling areas. Yeah. So, yes. I mean, you could even put it in the Wheaton Township and they're, they're <coughs> doing it. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, that could be where those and they can include go. Bolingbrook in that. And they can include Bolingbrook because Bolingbrook is part of that township. Mm -hmm. But I wanted everybody to be informed what's going on because if it's right before the election, that's when we're going to get calls from the residents and they're not going to be happy. So, at least we said the board's aware of this and it's the residents. And I'm going to withdraw my motion because I don't necessarily need to. To take a vote on this, uh, if we're not, unless well, somebody really wants to. Uh, okay, good. No, because Nancy, we talked about this before because I was at a governmental league function and um, Mayor Claire had brought this up very loudly and asked me about what what we we're doing, and that was that my fact that there was no one else that was requesting, and he said, I don't care about anyone else. So. Do you, have you already gone the different avenues of other places in Bowling? If no. he doesn't want it at the city hall, he said we could use his building, but he, we're not going to. He, he wants. He's not going to staff it. He's not going to staff it. I could use his building, but I have to staff it. So, so if I start staffing, that means I'm going to have to pay the rest of the. Um, we'll just use some. 
There, okay, so you haven't gone that avenue of DuPage Township of talking with Supervisor Mayor or? DuPage Township already, we have satellites throughout the county, we've had this for years, that they issue marriage licenses. So DuPage Township already has issued okay, marriage licenses. Okay, so they already license. have that. We couldn't just utilize that for Bolingbrook? Because they're well, in Bolingbrook. Du DuPage Township facility isn't uh, set up as, um, it's not as large of an area yeah. for early voting. When you have long lines, you have to have a building in, that has plenty of parking and where the lines can be formed. And DuPage Township is very small. Well, we should talk to the park districts and maybe some others that might be willing to uh, and, and, I, and, and maybe to, once again, maybe talk to the townships again, both the Wheatland and okay. And, uh, That's fine. I just wanted to make sure that you agree with what I'm doing. Yeah. But I think I think you totally have to vet this, and because you know, I agree with you. Uh, how can you pay one and not pay the other? It's not fair. It's not, it's fair. not even pay out. You, if you well, we don't even the have cost. the money. The county doesn't have the money to keep paying. Well, we have free, We have a hiring freeze. And I have to come to the board anyhow if I, have, if I want to hire more people, and this is hiring people. So that's why I yes, can't. Why don't we, why don't we uh, 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 remove this for now, and then you can come back. If you're having problems, then you come back and see if we might have to do something for this election, since it's so close. But uh, why don't we, might, might you try to work it out? And if you can't, come back. I think so. Okay. Can I make good with that? Yeah. I'm going to make a motion just to remove this for now. Uh, okay, all in favor? Aye. Uh, okay, and I'm on, I'm on the next one too. You're on the next one. I think this is an easy one. Uh, this is easy. The spending all services for the election uh, uh, related functions in the county clerk's office, November 8, 2016, uh, March 20th, 2018, and November 6th, 2018, which are all our election dates. Yeah. I only we only need the help in the general election come up. It's only for this one election because the last presidential we took six thousand calls, and now with the new poll books and. Okay. So we that motion. 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 Move, second. All in favor. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next we have emergency replacement <coughs> eight at ADF hot water heater. So I make a motion. Motion. Second. second. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Opposed. Motion carries. It's an emergency. The hot water. I was all for cold showers. Okay, authorizing uh, contract renewal, employment, employer services for the on job training uh, program. This is for our workforce. Can we get the next you can sit there. Uh, hopefully, this will go fast. So, you move on. Motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Authorizing contract renewal with the Joliet Junior College Workforce Development for the uh, YOA Youth Occupational Training and GED Academic Skill Improvement Program. Move, second, all in favor? Aye. Opposed, motion carried. Authorizing renewal with the Joliet Junior College Workforce Development for the Workforce Latest Program. Second. Motion is second, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed, motion carried. Uh, authorizing a whip contract with uh, Nano Phase Technologies uh, Corporation for a business grant yes. for employee training. Oh, technology. Aye. Opposed, motion carried. Uh, authorizing contract new with the EDSI Consulting for a industry sector project. Second, all in favor? Aye. 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 Pat, that was hot. <laughs> 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 we like workforce. We like workforce. Authorizing, number nine, authorizing uh, amendment number two to the technical services agreement with the RTA. Moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Uh, at, at the end of 20, uh, 6, 2016, Rally wage rates. We'll make a motion on this. Move. Second, all in favor. Aye. Aye. Opposed. Motion no. carried. Uh, well, you know what? Yeah. I, 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 I know we don't hit. Yeah, we don't have. We don't have them, but I think if anything else, we're improving what they have. Right. What, the, what usually yeah. happens is the Department of Labor has all the prevailing rates, rates listed on their website. What they presently have is from 2015. So we will reach out to the Department of Labor, see if they have anything updated it, or if those are the recommended prevailing rates. Um, 
Well, we're voting on what's there, which is the 2015. So, I mean, my guess is as long as there's squad right down there, you're not going to see it. So, uh, so I think we have a motion and a second. Just a quick question. Is there a reason that we have to do this? Yes. State statute. State statute says we must pay. In June. Okay. Okay. We have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Some of you are all the way. Authorizing an intergovernmental review in New Lenox Township for electronic recycling. Aye. Authorizing IGA with Seattle. Authorizing contract with uh, Robert Crown Health Center for the 2015 JAG work in uh, Plainfield District 202 Schools. Move, move. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Designating IMF authorized agent. Move. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Uh, uh, replacement hires for pre posting uh, for the uh, land use department. Before I have a motion, basically, the land use is what we requested. And that's before they post the position that we're talking about. Here. And, and then allow it to go forward to be posted, just so you know what we're, what the discussion is today. So, so I'll uh, have a motion. Move. Move. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Okay, next we have uh, the place of hire for the supervisor assessment office. And this is not a pre-posting, so this is actually, this is an actual asking for it to be put on the, uh, agenda for approval. So I'll let Rhonda make the case. Thank you. I'll try to be quick. Um, there's a handout coming around to you. It's a flow chart of the Supervisor of Assessments Office showing uh, the current employees and the, count, the number of employees. And on the back side of it, it's a four-year trending of um, all of the important things uh, that go on in that office, including the number of staff, um, the total assessed values, the subdivisions, added parcels. And it gives you an idea of um, that we're back on the upswing in the Supervisor of Assessment's office. The hire that um, I am putting before you is uh, has already gone through the interviewing and the posting process, because that was done prior to there being uh, any discussion at board about uh, holding off on hires. So, um, as I said, um, I'm here to request your approval for the hire. I've provided the handout um, and a four-year uh, data trend. This position is a senior level statistical and auditing position as described in the handout. Our office is the foundation of the tax cycle and all the functions and processes must be complete, accurate, and timely in order for tax revenue to be collected. As I said, this is a senior position doing analytical work, auditing, uh, my abstracting to the Department of Revenue. Um, the office has decreased staff in the last two budgets. You can see we uh, normally function with a staff of 29, and for the last two years we functioned with 27. This is within that 27 number. Um, this is an essential, essential critical position to the operation. It's a key position in assuring ac accuracy and timeliness. Um, we are once again growing. You can see that we are expected to have 95 new subdivisions. That's quite a big number from where we've been. All of that requires additional work, sales, name changes, mapping, uh, new property, along with dealing uh, with legislative changes and having to change direction and change our processes with regard to auditing. Um, I do want to leave you with, Will County is the first county to complete all of the sales declarations, abstracts, 
anything that goes to the Department of Revenue out of 102 counties in Illinois, we are the number one county with regard to timeliness. We do not have to worry about collection, calculation of rates, distribution of tax dollars, and I believe that is because of um, the SA office and the foundation that uh, we process as the entire tax cycle. Um, so uh, I am respectfully requesting that you approve this letter and allow me to continue um, with the kind of work that uh, I have been able to lead in this office so that we can continue um, the uh, most counted on revenue source in the county, which is tax revenue. Before we talk specifically about Rhonda's uh, request, I would like to ask this committee, you know, this committee is the Insurance and Personnel Committee also. We have this Insurance and Personnel Committee. So, uh, uh, but here's the question, and I suppose that we, things can start and end here if this is what the committee preference is. What I'm going to bring up, though, is, is that should we be just give me a recommendation to the full county board and let the board vote on this with our recommendation, either hire or not hire, uh, or should the final decision be done here. I will tell you that I lean towards uh, uh, letting it go to the full county board with a recommendation of denial or approval. Uh, would probably be my preference. But, uh, I'd like to maybe hear what the preference of the committee is. Whether so we're going to give a recommendation or whether we're going to do an up or down. Second. My recommendation. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, so what we're going to be doing here is we'll be recommending that to the full board whether the hire should go forward or not. Rather, I guess, hold up here. Now, we may temporarily, uh, just because you put on the agenda doesn't, doesn't mean we might want to discuss it. We may, we're going to ask procedurally that you give us a pre-posting uh, process and uh, this committee would probably make the decision when it goes to the board. And I don't mean it will hold on to it for six months. It could be we'll do this next month or whatever. We want to hear a little bit more. Uh, I'm just letting that, so I'll, I'm going to bring hires forward. You know, so we will move it to the full county board uh, and we'll decide on the time timing it, whether we do it at this month or it next month, you may want to get some additional information. Uh, so, uh, okay, so now we have Rhonda's uh, request, so I'm uh, I'm going to open up for discussion. Chuck? Uh, just a quick question, is this, these positions already in your budget? Yes. And so right now there's, you're not asking for any new dollars, you're just replacing these folks? I've continued to actually cut dollars over the last four years. This position, um, Rhonda, uh, I guess my question is, is this something that you need right now? Absolutely. This person is somebody who is going to do the analyzing, the auditing, and the abstracting. Which one which of those? Which one has of those? to happen. Which one on this chart? Which one are we talking about? These are the two positions to the right of me. Right. They work directly Bacon. for me. They both say vacant. I have two Jennifer positions open, and I'm hiring one of those right now. And my last question, how come there's only one guy working, y'all? <laughs> um, okay, and you don't have to answer that. You don't have to answer that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to answer that. Thank you. Thank you. What a good question, though. I would be happy to do that. Uh, I'm going to watch. Well, you know what? If they want to find out they'll be the only man there, they might apply. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, it's critical to my abstracting to the state, which I need to get certification to go forward um, to keep everything moving. Ron, I have a question just about overall operations of ESA's office. And, you know, first, my, my perception may not necessarily be the correct one, but I hope. I always feel that you have peak times during the year where there's a lot of work being done, and then there's other times where uh, it may not be quite as uh, intense or the workloads may not be as high. Uh, am I, first off, am I even correct in that assumption? You're not. I'm not, okay. All right. It's constant. Your mic is not on front. Oh, I keep forgetting this button. I'm sorry. Um, it's a constant 
uh, exemptions. What we do basically is we prioritize. So we, at a particular time, right now, the assessors are getting ready to close their books. We're going to publish. We're going to start the border review season. So everybody's going to move to that area. Once that gets in order, then everybody's going to move to exemptions. Once March comes and exemptions are done, then we're going to get prepared for um, senior <coughs> freezes yeah. and, and so the next year flows. exemption. Your it's work it's just adjusted. It's a constant. Okay, so your workflow is a full-time workflow. It is. And especially, especially knowing that we're looking um, at 95 new subdivisions coming on because okay. we have cut our mapping staff back by quite a bit over the last few years. Yeah. Um, so that means it's going to be a shift to that direction. Um, and there is always, with 24 townships and a couple of very large townships, Wheatland, DuPage, <coughs> um, we're always doing the analytical part of making sure that their numbers are looking good. So they're doing their job, but as it comes into us, before it goes in the system, we yeah, need to make sure it. that yeah. the state is going to say, yes, those numbers are good. So it's a constant. But the township's always come to the program. They do. Okay. They do. <laughs> <laughs> any, any, oh, okay. So, uh, oh, go ahead. How long has this, how long has this position been open? Uh, these, there are two positions. They are my two senior people. Uh, one just left, uh, which is the one that I'm filling. May, when did she leave? I'm sorry. She, she one was she March left. and one was May. Okay, and what we did is we continued to, you know, get prepared to move some things around and figure out, you know, these were senior people, so these were people that had some skill. We had to move some other people into different categories to pick up some slack but there's no way that we can do what we do with 25 employees instead of 27. All right, so we're going to entertain a motion uh, to uh, yeah, no. that more question. Just one, as, as we go forward with this, um, it's nice to have the um, job descriptions and expectations for the jobs. Um, you know, this thing to be brought the job the description is it's in the packet. Oh, it's not attached to it's my it's hand up, but it's in your packet. You, you, you know, no. uh, sometimes I think I'd also like to see uh, the qualifications for that position. It's all in the packet. And from now on, when we come before you pre posting, that would be in your packet as well. That's why I'm. Okay, so we uh, have a request. Uh, I'll entertain a motion. Make a motion. Okay. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Thank you, Ron. Thank you. Next, we have a replacement hire for uh, somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Replacement hire for EMA. The two balls are going to come up and handle this, or we got Harold's going to come up and handle Okay, Harold, you're good. Good morning, everybody. I'll, I'll also try to be as brief as I can. Uh, first of all, I appreciate uh, you giving me the opportunity to present this to you this morning. I, I understand that you're taking a harder look at, at uh, replacement hires. This is a, a position that uh, we, we posted, we advertised, we accepted applicants, we interviewed and we selected uh, prior to the board's current uh, heightened interest in this. So this was already in motion and I appreciate you letting me bring it to the agenda this morning. Uh, the, uh, the individual that uh, we're hiring is a replacement hire. Uh, the individual who's uh, retiring has been in this position <coughs> for 27 years. Uh, she's leaving at the end of this month. Um, as a small office, I have, I have six full-time emergency managers that work for me. Uh, it's, hard to, it's hard to not say that any position is uh, essential. Um, I included a summary on the first page of some of the things that this position does. What I included in the following pages is a general overview of, of all the program areas that uh, EMA takes care of. So I have uh, 
as you can see, I have many more bullet points than I have people, which means I have people that wear multiple hats, and this position is, is no exception. Uh, the uh, position concentrates on uh, what we call technological hazards. That's uh, all the chemical facilities that are in the county. Uh, it also uh, hazardous materials transportation, pipeline, railroad, uh, things of that nature. I gave you a little bit of, of uh, statistical snapshots on the first page just to try to illustrate what some of that entails. Of course, there's a lot of detail behind these uh, high-level uh, bullet points. Uh, but uh, uh, the position, again, is, uh, it's essential to us first and foremost because we're, we're a small shop that has just a few hands on, on deck all the time. I, I happen to have another person who's on maternity leave right now, so I'm already uh, minus one person for a while. Uh, with that, I, I would ask if you would consider moving it forward, and I'll, I'll be happy to answer questions. Yeah, I'll just say real briefly, uh, you know, uh, EMA deals with a very small staff. They really deal with the uh, health, safety, and welfare of folks in this community. It's a very important department. It's always, uh, it's lean. It's always been lean. I, I support this. I'm on the local emergency planning committee and uh, this position uh, handles all of the reports that come in from industry on chemical safety. Uh, they have to file annually and uh, also the, the emergency plans come in from the agencies and this person reviews the emergency plans along with the local emergency planning committee. So I think it's important that we maintain this position. All these things are mandated by the federal government uh, on these chemical emergency uh, preparedness. Mr. Solomon, take a motion. Make a motion. Second. Motion second. All in favor? Aye. In case of approval, we'll go forward uh, to the full county board. Thank you very much. Uh, okay. Next, I have a construction oversight committee, which was, was, which was added. Uh, you know, real briefly, I just want to, the reason it's on there is, is, is we had already had the capital uh, committee. It wasn't on the capital committee agenda. That's why it got pushed to here. I think this is something that's important and it should be done timely. Because currently, uh, there is really no direction. The executive's office is, is uh, handling the negotiation of the contracts. We do have day-to-day -day activities. For example, I think we really need to get into uh, the program of the courts because I still think we're not there. And so I'd like to form this committee so we can start making these decisions. Uh, for example, I think the gross square footage has gotten too high in the courthouse. It's going to be on the budget we set. So we need to talk about those things. Uh, uh, and uh, I. Uh, and it's the committee that's got to make those decisions. So I'd like to form this committee. We could just say, uh, do you want to just have the capital improvements committee do it? Or do you want to form a, a, a separate committee? Because they will set direction and the reporting will come back to that committee. I think, I mean, prior conversations that we've had in capital, I think that was our intention was to just have a, an additional capital meeting and and, two of them. and of course the meetings are open so anyone's welcome to come but you know rather than form another committee unfortunately we'd be setting another another a meeting date but I, I think it's um, and I know Don Moran isn't here he had um, contact with me he wanted to be on this committee to, and he's already on capital so I think it's just it makes sense okay. for us to continue that so the, currently the capital committee meets on the First Tuesday of the month. So what would you have on the first and third Tuesday of the month? You said a date, but the next one didn't. The second, you already got a I thought we second. talked about it, but you, but uh, and then there was a little confusion. So was it the first and third Tuesdays? So what it was now the first Tuesday, the first right. Tuesday right. and the second Thursday. Right. There are a number of times that We'll be in the same. You're going to be in the same week. Uh, that's we'll why I think you need to leave a little distance. Well, no, for the most Except part, there's two different agendas. Yeah, and on the second agenda, the second issue. And, and it's just, yeah, there's two different time. agendas. I mean, each so of phone. I think what we were trying to do was, if, 
our first thought process was to keep the capital and the second meeting, you know, a distance apart. But then we're also trying to, you know, for economy purposes and people's schedules too, if we're already here, then keep it on a day. So then what we so then what we said was is when we do set Good. these agendas is to keep a lot of these projects uh, separate from my regular capital meeting. So make these we, we, can always, we can always adjust the meeting. Yeah. We can always adjust the meeting. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, you, so do we want to formula, formalize it? Uh, <coughs> here? Uh, and I would ask the committee to meet maybe before the next, because this is such a short month <coughs> uh, meeting wise, I do think you, we need to, they need to meet sometime this month. That doesn't leave. Next Thursday. Well, there'll be any action either by the county board. I'm just saying, next Thursday. Is the which is the which is the 16th. Yeah, then you have There's 14 days left in the month, right. or two weeks left in the month. I think there's time to meet. After the county board. 75. Yeah. Yeah. 25. Okay. And you want to do that on Thursday or? Yeah. I look at you, Ray, and I don't know what they've got a few Tuesday or Thursday. I usually try to stay away from court on Tuesday, Thursday, so Thursday's okay. fine. Okay, Thursday's okay. fine. Okay. June 23rd? June 23rd. What time? Nine? Nine. Nine? Okay. <coughs> uh, so, Thursday. do we do we need to... No, I'd like to leave for June 21st if we could have a 23rd and the 22nd Tuesday. Okay. Thursday. 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 Oh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a change in the whole calendar anyway. Just the 21st the yeah, it's, it's, it's a Tuesday. Is that work for you? I can do either. I don't make a difference to me. Okay. Yeah. All right, we'll set it for the Tuesday, by the way. Thank you. Bob. And then we'll check, check with all the committee members it's, because we have to see what they are going to be there. So. Oh, <laughs> if somebody else can make it, uh, you know, we resist never ending. So, but Tony Therese, the Tony Therese, 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 anyway. Tony Therese, we have that CD. I opened in Mokina that oh, morning. Oh, that's right. Yeah. The 21st? The 23rd. That's oh, the CD. Okay. I opened it. Okay. In Mokina. Right. I'll be there. It's yes, in Mokina. So yeah. 21st is 7 o'clock? Uh, 7 o'clock. Right. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 Do we need to, to actually make a motion to that effect? I actually. I'll, 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 let, let's uh, take a motion to the uh, just to formalize it that the the committee that the cabinet committee will also function as the construction oversight committee. Second. 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 All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed motion carried. Uh, uh, next we have a management layer agreement for a uh, Will County project. Uh, <coughs> uh, I brought this up in capital something that Will County has been Just to, just to clarify, this is something that we have normally done, but we've done it through the Public Billing Commission, and the board has given the Public Billing Commission direction. This is a you know business labor agreement, uh, uh, or management labor agreement, that basically says there'll be no work stoppages, and we'll pay any contracted labor uh, 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 wage, or any wage that may be negotiated. Uh, during the period of construction. This gives us certainty uh, uh, that our project does not get delayed and it uh, also uh, shows the labor unions that we intend on paying whatever negotiated uh, wage they get. So, yes. I 
looked at this uh, yesterday, the agreement, and that, that agreement actually needs to be executed, I, I believe, by, by the contract. So I think what's appropriate for the county board to do, is to pass a resolution saying that all of our contractors will enter into that agreement, and all projects in the <coughs> that, that will be part of the agreement. Right, well, can you prepare a resolution to that effect? Okay. That, that, will go, that resolution will go under uh, uh, capital, well, under executive. We okay. put that over to capital. And, uh, 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 and then we'll uh, go from there, okay? So I need a motion to uh, make a motion. Okay. Motion second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Okay. Uh, Appointments for the county executive. Move. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Uh, no. uh, proclamation. Chuck. Uh, we got two. Did you want to bring them up now? Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, there's uh, two proclamations. One is going to be um, read by her right at the beginning when we do the invocations, and then the other one will just will make an announcement uh, during my um, work, in my uh, talk at the end of the county board, and it's just going to be handed. So, so, in the no so in the introduction, so in the introduction when I introduce Father Ray. I'll also read Do the proclamation. Come now, quote in and read that proclamation. Okay. So. Yeah. That's it. I think I'll hold on to it to that and just pray. You don't do the prayer. Yeah, that's right. You don't do the prayer. Right? You, don't do the prayer right? you might read the prayer. You might read the prayer. You might read the prayer. Okay. 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 Is there anything that. Uh, Oh, quickly go. Tom, is there anything you want to mention on that? Okay. Well, then you just finish. Uh, we had one item table last month. <clears throat> We're going to bring this back. I don't really know if they resolved the issue in two parties hand. So we may get some information by that time. We have a meeting next Tuesday, and uh, I don't know that, that, I don't believe there's anything going forward yes. from that meeting. I think there's one sort of case that may come forward. Is that what Dawn said? Well, we have to be out here now. Well, there no, because be. you haven't met yet, so we have to say the space Oh, the, okay, so you there may be one, one more additional zoning The one case. that was denied at PCC. You need additional spaces? Just say space for one that was... Okay. Make that motion, pass. I'll make a motion. Just say say that space, second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, finance, Mike, you go ahead. Yeah, we're going to be uh, going on some poll books, <coughs> additional poll books, we're going to transfer some funds in the community health center budget, and we uh, also are going to be authorizing approval of supplemental allocation from AOIC for adult redeploy. And then uh, next year, we'll uh, make the tax dollars. Any questions about public works? You have anything to add? Uh, thank you for this road improvements. I'd like to draw your attention, though, to an intergovernmental agreement with the village of Moni. Uh, we did this with another village once where we're transferring some eminent domain authority. Uh, new business one. Distribution center wants to come into Moni, so um, we're allow that. Any questions? Yeah. Yeah, I just want to ask, why are we transferring it to the village of Moni rather than having our highway department um, do that? But uh, I think Mr. Gould can answer that. Yeah. I should say they're both Mr. Gould, aren't they? Both Mr. Gould. Uh, Bruce Gould. Unrelated. Unrelated. Unrelated, yeah. Mr. Gould. Uh, yeah. 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 That's what you say now. All you say are related. He's distancing himself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah Bruce. This is specifically for yeah. condemnation, <laughs> not for any of the engineering, <laughs> nothing like that. Uh, it's going to be in the village, this. Uh, Development and uh, they are working. The developer is working with the village of uh, Modi on this uh, parcel, and they are taking the lead on the condemnation. We did one go to the board last month exactly the same as in Manhattan. Yeah. Even though it was on our county highway, Cedar Road. This is on uh, Richmond. Yeah, it's on the corner of Manhattan, Modi Road, and Ridgeland Avenue. So they are going to take authority uh, on the condemnation. Yes. On our conference. Okay, just wanted to make sure yeah. that was known. Thank you. Which actually is not unusual. We've done that. Yeah, it's routinely done for us. Yeah, particularly. To make them get, make them get the right away. Well, we, we 
try to stay out of negotiating right away for developments too, right? Okay? Exactly. Even though it is a public works project, it's for a development. Okay. Uh, okay. Yep. Any other questions? Tom? Yeah. Yeah. Bruce? Okay, what else do you have? Okay. Judicial, uh, Darren, do you have anything? Uh, we're just uh, going to be awarding a contract for food services at River Valley Juvenile Center uh, with Aramark Correctional Services. Yeah. 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 Oh, we tabled that. Yeah, the state hasn't gotten back to Debbie yet, so we're hopefully they're going to come forward in July. That's it, right. I'm sorry. We do have the resolution that for the stepping up initiative to reduce the number of people. Okay, thank you. Public health and safety. Yeah, I just have renewed contract for diabetic supplies for Sunny Hill. That's it. Okay, thank you. Any questions? Um, I have our local uh, front passer and Julie Curry coming in Tuesday to give full reports of all the action going on in Springfield and the end of session. Well, not really the end. And we also have uh, Representative Mark Batman coming in and Representative L. Riley to kind of give their yin and yang on it. Um, the other thing too, Jim, if I can bring up now, I wanted to kind of bring up later, and we talked about this, unless you want me to discuss this later, about the appointments with 911 for the ETSB board. You, you can, you can, uh, uh, I mean, I want to keep it in the executive, but I thought, why I'm talking. Uh, well, go ahead and frame the issue. Uh, right, well, well it was just, we had committees, and we've been discussing for, for quite some time, months upon months, um, and as everyone knows, we have not been putting out for the appointments, and we were discussing about reorganizing the ETSB board, and I think we need to get that done so we can have, now that everything is in motion, we have the 30 agencies that are, you know, secure going in with the layer away, I think this is time for us to start having these discussions. I, I agree with you. We pretty much know, like, with what it's going to look like, even though it may not be completed yet, we know basically we're going to have uh, a couple of dispatch centers. I think we, we do have the overall uh, uh, information to now go forward and look at how we may want to restructure uh, the ESB board, and then we'll make all the appointments. So, uh, uh, um, yeah. I, I don't know if uh, we, should be, we should be working with the executive's office on this. I <coughs> sent out a proposal on that reorganization. I sent you a copy. Yep. And I think I sent it to Susan and, and Nick Palmer and Larry Walsh. It, it was leave everybody on the board except for the centers. There were seven centers and we're going to three centers. So we would just take off the, the centers that are going away so everybody else could be reappointed. And um, primarily that's what we, we would probably be doing. I, we may do a little structure. In, in, in lieu of less representation of the uh, uh, dispatch centers, I think Suzanne had a good idea. and Maybe we should, uh, there should be a representative for the mayors. Which would be Hugh over with the governmental league, so the mayor's the mayor, league. to be the citizen at large. I do think the mayor's that'd be fine because he the citizen at large is going wants to step off and that's the problem we're having right now there's two board members that would like to step off of the board and we're not replacing them so they're they're ready to disembark and so that's why we need to kind of move well move on can those. we uh, uh, we can do it at uh, I think, should we, should we have a one, should we have some working sessions? I was going to bring this up at our caucus next week, uh, before this. Nick, uh, do you have any, can step up, Nick, do you have, yeah. any, do you have any thoughts? We could, we could form uh, just a working committee. Uh, uh, I guess. Or you could come up with a rec executive office can give us a recommendation. What Tom, Tom has recommended, and I responded to him, is basically what will happen per the bylaws. I mean, if we can formalize it so it's cleaner maybe, but as as I said this before, only this topic has come up, as dispatch centers close, those positions go away. And but and, and we have approximately two years of non-appointment, so it, it's all, they're all gonna be on expired soon, so we can start fresh, clean, whatever, but. Well, why don't we do this? I think, I'm gonna tell you historically how we've done it. 
We've actually asked the recommendation come from the executive's office. We've reorganized the ESV boards. So we, we, we've done it three times. Deal. We've done it three yeah. times. So, uh, Nick, why don't we, you, if your office will give us a recommendation, and then uh, we well, can act on that. And I, I do like the fact, though, that you, know, you might uh, like you to consider is that uh, the mayors have some representation. They, 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 that's, we can definitely consider that as we make a recommendation. They do have re re recommend, or representation through to be. the dispatch centers because right. they all are part of, or their designees are part of the individual dispatch. Now that we're going from six to three, that's why I'm thinking so maybe they should. They, should they can have additional, and, and that could be if we want to formalize it and make it a separate position and add a, a net seat to or the board. But that board. could be the volunteer. But, but I mean, it could the be the, well, I, I think it should be an actor rather than citizen at large. Citizen at large should be a citizen. Actually, it's actually, and I, I will formalize this. But with the reduction, we'll be at twelve. So if we add, because we have fifteen now, it'll we'll lose three, so it'll be twelve. So that would be good because we'd have an odd number then. So yeah. it'll be thirteen. So are members. we also thinking though, um, and it was, I can't remember which gentleman at the committee said yesterday, but to keep someone as well from the sheriff's office in there, um, I know that was something that was was put out there. And mm -hmm. I think that is very, because it's almost, it's its own entity and it, I think there needs to be. It kind of gets pretty good representation. Right. Yeah, I, we had a lot of, yeah. Uh, so. I, mean, I, I would I would like to see at least one one county board member stay on. Uh, right. There should be a connection with the, there should be somebody who can come back to the board. Uh, and usually they put an applicant for the SC, so it's you know we don't bump heads that often. So if Nick, if you if you if you're we'll if the county executive is prepared to bring the recommendation forward next month, we'll do it next month. And you can do the appointments. Okay. Some of the appointments at the same time. I mean, say what you may in anything that has ever happened. Nick and I do work really well together when it comes to the ETSB. This, well, this is a very good team we made. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, let, let, yeah, let me say, you it's know. True. Uh, you know uh, it is uh, true. It is true. We're, we're the number one concern with Nick and I, and I, hopefully everyone else that's on there is the residents of Will County. There's and the different safety. with everybody's hearts in the right place. I really yeah. appreciate that. So. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, then I'm going to move on. Kate, what's for this committee? Anything that uh, you want to uh, mention there? Um, we're authorizing a contract with HR3 for the landscape and a sheriff's facility. We're also authorizing the county council to execute the agreement with the Barnes Board, as well as authorizing the county executive to execute an agreement with the bank. Okay. Any questions for? Uh, Great. Okay. Executive, <laughs> any questions for me? Jim, can you need to remove the month for Oh, yes. We're oh, going to remove the what? We're going to remove the, uh, the, the lease court, yes. for the branch court until July. So, so make a motion to remove that. Second. I need a second. Well, second. Second. I'm just saying all in favor. Aye. Uh, okay, that's removed. Any other questions? Uh, you know, is there any public? We do, we do need it. Uh, we do have to go to the executive session. For pending litigation, but before we do that, any public comment? Uh, I have no announcements. Is there any um, committee members? No, I'll entertain a motion. Oh, oh before you go, then I will uh, entertain a motion to approve the county board agenda as yes, amended. Second. Motion second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So that's done. Okay, and now I'll entertain a motion to go into executive session for pending litigation. <coughs> Motion, second, take your roll, please. Mayor? Yes. Benefield? Brooks? Yes. Bright Dick? Yes. Prisolum? Yes. Gould? Yes. Harvey? Yes. Uh, Ogala? Yes. Weigel? Yes. And yes. Okay. okay, folks, if, uh, everybody out, quickly. Everybody out, quickly, quickly. <laughs>